So funny, my first time watching this, and just wow, well, and then you guys, if you're new right here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and hope you please, 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 for my channel as well, and please, do the channel on, and you love this, because I'll still be recording a week, so, and my other channel related biggest games as well, or biggest games, please subscribe that as well, please. I'll put it down in the description because I'm a big guy. Hey guys, and here we go, man. This, this is the first time I'm watching this right now, and just, wow. That's wow. I watched that some bit, I watched some bit. Uh, it's quite funny, it really, it's actually really funny as well. Really, really funny. And, you guys can let me know if you like this. <laughs> well, well, here we go. What I don't understand is that if it's so offensive to them, then why do they say it over and over again? So Riley said the N-word before you did that morning. He says it every morning. He calls me nigga. He calls the other kids nigga. He calls himself nigga all the time. Nigga this, nigga that. Nigga please. Bitch nigga. Nigga, have you lost your mind? Nigga, check that hoe. Nigga, you bullshit and break yourself nigga. He says it's so... much I don't even what I don't understand is that if it's so offensive to them then why do they say it over and over again so Riley said the n-word before you did that morning he says it every morning he calls me nigga he calls the other kids nigga he calls himself nigga all the time nigga this nigga that nigga please bitch nigga nigga have you lost your mind nigga check that hoe nigga you bullshit and break yourself nigga he says it so much I don't even notice it anymore last week in lunch Riley says to a class Mate, can a nigga borrow a french fry? And my first thought wasn't, oh my god, he said the word, uh, the n-word. It was, now how is a nigga gonna borrow a fry? Nigga, is you gonna give it back? <laughs> Hey, check it out. Gangsta Licious sent me a box of free gear. And I'm gonna be the first nigga on the streets to rock it. Mm. Gangsta Licious sure does send you a lot of free stuff. Hey, man, Gangsta Licious is my homie. Oh, now your homies. Yesterday, he was a punk. Sometimes you just gotta put aside your differences and work through problems with your homie. So y'all can keep to being homies. You feel me, homie? That's very sensitive of you, Riley. And you're okay with his... Lifestyle. Well, I mean, I know he ain't no real gangster, but that's cool. Cause see, he's in entertainment. He ain't gotta be out in the streets like I do. He's telling our stories for us. So you're okay with him being gay? <laughs> gay? Who, who said he was gay? Nigga, is you crazy? <laughs> Gangstalicious gay. <laughs> you crazy. Come on, Riley, the song, the dance, I mean, do the homie. The homie dance ain't gay. I do the homie. That's not gay. You who thinks everything in the world is gay? Nigga, you gay. You gay. Y'all niggas are gay. Nigga, you gay. That's gay. Don't find any of this gay at all. Okay, so all that other stuff was gay. But Gangsta Licious ain't gay. You can't just go throwing that gay thing around, Huey. That's a serious accusation. You the one who said he kissed another man. What I had said was them dudes knocked me upside my head and I dreamed he kissed another man. How often do you have dreams about men kissing? Shut up. Never dream about my heroes kissing other men. Man, stop. 
This whole conversation is making me uncomfortable. I dreamt about Muhammad Ali just last night, but he was fighting Joe Frazier, not kissing him. Ooh, gay ass nigga, shut up, shut up, shut up. Ooh, I ain't listening to you. I want candy! Damn it, I hate you! You're ruining Wait, my Herbert, life! Remember our bitch, agreement? Candy. We have an agreement about I how we behave candy. in the store, Herbert. Give me candy! Give me candy! I want candy! I want candy marshmallows! Give it to me! Give it to me! And I want pasta! Hmm. He sure and looks like a handful. When he gets like this, I, I just don't know how to make him stop! Have you ever tried beating his ass? Rather not. My name's Cristal. Like the champagne? Well, that sounds like a stripper name. Cristal like the champagne? Might you be a stripper? <laughs> and just what do you know about strippers, little man? Not much, but I do know they're usually named after liquor. Excuse me, everyone, I have a brief announcement to make. Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Thank you for your time, and good night. No! That can't be true! Mm-hmm. You having that dream where you made the white people riot, weren't you? But I was telling the truth! <laughs> I know about white people too. Like when they talk, they say the whole word like this. I got a happy. Excuse me. Oh Lord, how much it? Security, security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a cold black? Now I can't go my what this. I can't go my what this. I can't go what this because this shit was just too funny. Man. It's just too funny. Got some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. You said you do bad things. What kind of bad things do you do? I don't listen to my grandmother, and I hurt people, and I smoke with cigarettes. You smoke with cigarettes? Do I smoke with cigarettes? <laughs> Me, I be smoking with cigarettes all the time. Hold on, I just got out of the shower. There's some juice on the table. Mm-hmm, take your time. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh, no. I, I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. 
I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But see, I, I call you Chris Hansen. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what. I like you and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. Uh, okay, cut. This isn't working. Someone get this guy out. Uh, hey, oh, hey, you oh, ruined that bike. No, Chris, I'm no, a, please. I'm a warrior. Ah! I had two younger brothers. My brother Daryl and my other brother Darrell. But Mr. Always seemed to single me out the way. <laughs> I would get beaten for anything. Nigga, did you just break that vase? Oh, oh, sweet <laughs> Lord have mercy, my baby! Just having fun with off limits in Mr.'s house. Nigga, did I just catch you having fun? No. Oh, 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 sweet oh, oh, Lord have mercy, my baby! Every day, he reminded me of what a failure I was going to be. Miss, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Nigga, did I just catch you on the beach? <laughs> Lord have mercy, my baby! And on our talking points this evening, it seems like the hip-hop community is trading in their gold chains for gold showers. Hip-hop singer R. Kelly is on trial again this week for sharing some of his liquid bling with yet another underage girl. Some advice for Mr. Kelly. Next time, use a golden shower curtain and keep your golden showers to yourself. What's wrong with a man giving away a golden shower? Sounds like a nice gift to me. <laughs> what? Shoot, I wish somebody gave me a golden shower. <laughs> One, I like gold. Two, I like showers. <laughs> Put it together. Hey, that sounds like the life. <laughs> if you're good, Santa Claus might give you a golden shower for Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? My man Santa. Why R. Kelly, huh? What did R. Kelly do to you? He's accused of relieving himself on an underage girl on tape, which is against the law. Okay, okay, okay. But let's examine this whole peeing thing. So I can pee in the toilet and it's okay. But if I pee on a person, it's like not okay. Well, yeah. Well, what if I'm peeing and Huey's in the bathroom and I accidentally pee on Huey? Should I go to jail? What the hell would I be doing in the bathroom while you're in the bathroom? Hold up, hold up. Remember when we used to sleep in the same bed when we was littler? From time to time, I'd have a little accident. You still do. Shut up. So, Mr. Dubois, Mr. I want to lock niggas up for peeing. What's the statute of limitations on bedwetting? Why not prosecute me and R. Kelly at the same time, huh? Now, Riley, no one's going to prosecute you for bedwetting. And you shouldn't. It's a natural bodily function. And now every nigga in the world going to be scared to pee. I may never pee again. Riley, it was a little girl. Oh, I seen that girl. She ain't little. I'm little. Yes. Carrie Comb is little. Yes. Many me is little. Very. And to the best of my knowledge, we all managed to avoid getting peed on so far. But what about the victim? Oh, yes. The victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't think that... I see piss coming. I move. Mm. She saw piss coming. She stayed. Yes, yeah, she did. And why but... should I have to miss out on the next R. Kelly album just for that? Man, you just got beat by an eight-year-old. Girl on tape, which is against the law. Okay, okay, okay. But let's examine this whole peeing thing. So I can pee in the toilet and it's okay. But if I pee on a person, it's like not okay. 
Well, yeah. Well, what if I'm peeing and Huey's in the bathroom and I accidentally pee on Huey? Should I? I just need to work this one. I just need to work this. Yeah, how long have you seen this? You just need to work this, guys. You just need to work this. You haven't already seen it. You have heard it, bro. Watch it. Watch it. Find out find out with my baby. Um find out please a kiss on me, please a kiss on me, kiss on me, don't like all the best shows, all the best shows all over that. And yeah, he loved this hit strike button as well, he loved this but I go to jail. What the hell would I be doing in the bathroom while you're in the bathroom? Hold up, hold up. Remember when we used to sleep in the same bed when we was littler? From time to time I'd have a little accident. You still do. Shut up. So, Mr. Dubois, Mr. I want to lock niggas up for peeing. What's the statute of limitations on bedwetting? Why not prosecute me and R. Kelly at the same time, huh? Now, Riley, no one's going to prosecute you for bedwetting. And you shouldn't. It's a natural bodily function. And now every nigga in the world going to be scared to pee. I may never pee again. Riley, it was a little girl. Oh, I seen that girl. She ain't little. I'm little. Yes. Carrie Comb is little. Yes. Minnie Me is little. Very. And to the best of my knowledge, we all managed to avoid getting peed on so far. But what about the victim? Oh, yes. The victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't think that. I see piss coming. I move. Mm. She saw piss coming. She stayed. Yeah, she did. And why but... should I have to miss out on the next R. Kelly album just for that? Man, you just got beat by an eight-year-old. <laughs> oh, man, you want this. I just need to watch this one. Guys, please hit the strike button if you love this. Hit the strike button if you love this. Come on, come on, get out of here! Get out of Oh, man, you missed it. Was it bad? Did they do the thing with the fire hoses? What do you think, chump? Damn, what's eating you?